In the history of human achievements, mastering flight is pivotal. For a century, our skies remained unchanged, but now, electric propulsion and lithium-ion batteries are revolutionizing transportation. Electric vehicles dominate our roads, but what about the skies? This marks aviation's third renaissance. First was the piston engine, then the jet engine, and now electric. As global calls for environmental responsibility intensify, aviation, contributing significantly to CO2 emissions, is in focus, especially since it accounts for 5% of annual emissions combined with commercial shipping. As we hover on the brink of this electrifying era, one can't help but wonder, will the skies ever be the same again? Tackling the carbon footprint of airplanes is like trying to tame a wild beast. They're some of the most stubborn CO2 culprits out there. Airplane emissions aren't just a fleeting concern, they're a skyrocketing problem. Picture this, they might gobble up a staggering 25% of the global carbon budget we have to stay below a rise of 1.5 degrees C. The numbers paint a grim picture too. A 2020 deep dive into commercial aviation emissions revealed a whopping 32% hike in just five years. And here's a head turner. By 2038, the US alone will have over 1.28 billion airline passengers. The skies will be buzzing, but at what environmental cost? Yet, it's not just an environmental concern, it's an economic one. Jet fuel doesn't just pollute, it burns a hole in the airline's pockets. Enter electric motors, the silent heroes. A typical jet engine is like a grand symphony with thousands of moving parts. For instance, a turboprop. It has a mind-boggling 7,000 to 10,000 parts. And every 3,000 hours, prepare to shell out hundreds of thousands and a heap of time for a makeover. Now, imagine an electric motor in a plane. It has one, just one moving part. The savings? They're not subtle. Electric propulsion can slash ownership and operation costs by jaw-dropping percentages. Think 60 to 70%. And it's not just about cutting maintenance costs, it's also about trimming the fat on energy expenditures. So, with a win-win scenario like this, one might wonder, why haven't we seen the electric revolution sweep the aerospace sector off its feet yet? Unraveling the challenges of electric aviation is a bit like solving a grand mystery. The prime suspect, lithium-ion batteries. You see, these batteries pack only 1 40th the energy punch of jet fuel for the same weight. Imagine gutting a plane, swapping its fuel, engines and systems with batteries. The result? Our aircraft's range takes a nosedive, covering just 1 20th the distance. However, there's a plot twist in our tale. While electric planes have tiptoed onto the scene, recent advancements have charged up the narrative. The world of cars has turbocharged battery evolution, and now, there's genuine hope these battery innovations might give wings to electric flights. The lingering cliffhanger isn't, will we witness electric airplanes in the sky, but rather, when will we have electric jets that can match, if not outpace, the endurance of their fuel-guzzling cousins? While long journeys remain a distant dream, short hops across regions seem closer to reality with electric crafts. The pioneering steps in this electrifying journey have been modest. Picture this, the first few electric planes were like superheroes in training, powered entirely by batteries and flexing their muscles with just the pilot on board. Passenger flights? Not quite there yet. But the future seems bright as batteries continue their evolutionary journey. In the thrilling world of electric aviation, a few trailblazers stand out. Pipistrel, for instance, is already soaring with all electric planes. However, their primary role? Training future pilots. In another promising chapter, Harbour Air, hailing from Vancouver, Canada, teamed up with Magni X, setting sail, or rather, taking to the skies, with their electrified seaplanes. Fresh off their first triumphant flight, they're now navigating the intricate maze of certifications. A glinting spectacle unveiled at the Paris Air Show in 2019, a dazzling electric aircraft from the stables of the Israeli startup Aviation Aircraft. With room for nine and an impressive 650 mile range, they've already wooed over 200 eager customers. But aviation isn't alone in this airborne dance. Companies like Bi Aerospace and Pipistrel are scripting their own sagas, especially in the light sport and trainer aircraft arena. Their selling point? Go electric and watch both ownership and operational costs plummet. 
But as we stand at the cusp of this revolution, true long-haul, larger-capacity electric flights remain a distant dream. The interim solution? A hybrid electric approach that marries traditional fuel with electric prowess. Imagine a fusion, much like hybrid cars, but this time soaring in the skies. Now, picture this. A powerful Honeywell helicopter engine paired with ultra-efficient generators. A machine that hums to life with a staggering 400 kilowatts. Enough to light up 40 houses simultaneously. This is no mere imagination. It's a reality being crafted by Ampere. They've already taken the bold step with their electric eel, a six-seater that boasts the title of the largest hybrid electric aircraft to ever grace the skies. And they're up in the ante, readying for commercial route demos in Hawaii's azure skies, in cahoots with Mokulele Airlines. The world watches keenly. From Norway's ambitious goal of electrifying or hybridizing all sub-90-minute flights by 2040, to the UK and Scotland's eco-initiatives, the electric wave is palpable. There's an economic silver lining too. Historically, airlines winced at the thin margins of short regional flights. Enter hybrids and we're staring at a staggering 75% fuel cost reduction. Suddenly, routes once considered unprofitable beckon airlines. The Allure, a $40 billion revenue stream rejuvenated by hybrid tech. The ripple effect. Everyday flights might soon be as common as grabbing your morning coffee. The once prohibitive regional flight costs, courtesy of inefficient small turbine engines, might soon be a tale of the past. The future, it's electric, hybrid, and incredibly exciting. Picture a world where harnessing the power of nature doesn't just light up homes, but propels our flights too. In pockets like the Pacific Northwest, electricity from renewable sources is not just inexpensive, it's laughably cheap. Imagine the cost of flight dropping so low, it challenges the price tag of jet fuel. Now that's a twist in the tale. Such affordability might just rewrite how we commute. Dreams of cities like Los Angeles and the Bay Area, where supercommuters no longer slug through hours of traffic. Instead, they could just fly to work, air pooling style. But let's pump the brakes for a moment. When will the giants of the skies, our commercial airliners, turn electric? Well, that might be a page still turning. We might be clocking years, perhaps decades, before witnessing a Boeing or Airbus dancing electric in the clouds. And there's a waiting game when it comes to battery tech, with the dreams of long-haul electric flights resting on power-packed batteries yet to be developed. To paint a picture, a quaint passenger plane carrying just a handful of souls would need a battery thrice as potent as today's best to journey hundreds of miles. It seems the behemoth birds might dabble in hybrid tech, blending traditional and electric, long before going full electric. The discussions with aviation giants typically lean more towards making planes electrified rather than electric. But here's the silver lining. Such tweaks ease the burden on engines and sip less fuel, making these steel birds eco-friendlier. The electric revolution doesn't just promise cleaner skies, it's an architect's dream come true. The perks? They're many. Less heat means efficient cooling. The puny size of electric motors compared to traditional engines allows for creative placements, and the need to craft ultra-efficient planes due to the energy weight constraints of batteries. The result? Revolutionary designs and the tantalizing prospect of a new breed of aerial wonders. Air taxis, or as the aficionados call it, urban air mobility. Think of it as a futuristic transportation mode that could make flying to grab groceries an everyday reality. Imagine a dawn of a new era in aviation, where soaring above congested city roads becomes the norm. Think of living 30 miles from the nearest airport and looking at an hour-long commute through snarling traffic. Now, swap that with a breezy 15-minute glide in an urban air mobility vehicle. Yes, the future is knocking and it's airborne. But who's championing this skyward shift? None other than Uber, the rideshare titan. Their vision? break free from the 2D gridlock and soar into the 3D space above. And no, they're not just daydreaming. They're weaving this aerial tapestry by crafting the tech for logistical operations, partnering with aircraft makers and envisioning skyports. Imagine clicking on Uber Air, hopping into a car to a nearby skyport, transitioning into an aircraft and then landing close to your destination where another car awaits. All streamlined, all Uber. The financial forecasts? Astronomical. Morgan Stanley predicts this market could explode to a staggering $1.5 trillion by 2040. 
The dynamism and influx of investment in this sphere is unparalleled, especially for industry veterans. The spectrum is vast, from aircraft creation to tech innovations, infrastructure development and regulatory advancements. The space is bustling with startups, each vying for a slice of the aerial pie. From Vahana's short-range vehicles funded by Airbus to ventures backed by bigwigs like JetBlue Airways and even Google's Larry Page, the sky's the limit. An intriguing twist lies in production. Traditionally, aerospace celebrated a few hundred planes churned out annually. But with urban air mobility, we're eyeing a paradigm shift. Potentially tens of thousands of vehicles each year. And here's the kicker. The conventional aerospace sector might be ill-equipped to handle this deluge. As city streets grow more congested, our eyes and dreams lift skyward. The question is, are we ready for this aerial revolution? Imagine a world where the boundaries between cars and planes blur. Honeywell, sensing this groundbreaking shift, teamed up with Denso, a giant in automotive supply. Here's the catch. They aren't viewing urban air mobility as the future of planes, but rather as the evolution of cars. As automotive moguls eye this aerial space, their extensive experience in producing millions of motors and inverters becomes invaluable. For the aerospace realm, which traditionally crafts in limited numbers, such massive production expertise is nothing short of revolutionary. Now, the million dollar question. When will air taxis start zipping across our skies? While we see helicopters dabbling in urban mobility, the true visionaries await electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. Some estimates hint at a 2035 horizon, while others are more optimistic, pegging 2023 as the year for commercial launch. But brace yourself, this aerial debut might be on the pricier side, with a select number of vehicles pioneering specific routes. But there's a hiccup in this high-flying dream, batteries. To witness an air taxi whizzing for about 500 miles, we'd need batteries boasting more than double the energy prowess of today's electric vehicle counterparts. And that's not all, safety's paramount. With around 200,000 planes dotting the skies daily, the reliability of these battery-operated birds needs to be impeccable. And as they prep for takeoff, they'll be navigating the intricate labyrinth of aviation regulations. The standards for aircraft manufacturing and systems are sky-high, with rigorous certifications ensuring reliability and safety. So forget the image of a simple Cessna 172. We're venturing into a brave new world. Picture this, the safe and familiar experience of boarding a massive Boeing 737, but condensed into a nimble urban air vehicle. But while these craft promise convenience, they also bring a maze of challenges. With the dawn of urban air mobility, our skies are poised to become busier than a New York City intersection at rush hour. Visualize hundreds, if not thousands, of these futuristic flyers whizzing around, artfully dodging each other. It's a double duty mission, ensuring passenger safety abroad and safeguarding folks down below. As this exciting new chapter in aviation unfolds, both the FAA and vehicle innovators face fresh queries and intricate processes. Enter NASA's The Grand Challenge. Imagine it as a cosmic brainstorming session where the brightest from NASA, FAA and the vehicle industry unite. Their objective? Decipher the mysteries of urban air mobility. Their hope? to weave a safety net of certifications, regulations, and seamless integration into the nation's aerospace and bustling urban landscapes. Still, electrifying the skies isn't a simple switch. While the dazzle of an electric plane prototype is undeniable, mass-producing it is a whole different ballgame. And let's face it, unless policies change dramatically, like taxing carbon emissions, our electric dreams face tough competition from their jet-fueled counterparts. However, there's a silver lining. Just as the auto world evolved from petite electric vehicles like the Nissan Leaf to colossal electric buses, we can expect a similar journey in aviation. And a fact to ponder, if we want a cutting-edge aircraft ruling the skies in 30 years, its blueprint needs to be on the drawing board now. Regional electric aircraft? They're not just on the horizon, but might be our reality within the next 15 years. To sum it up, the transport revolution is electric from cars to trains, and now planes. And this electrifying dream, it's not in some distant tomorrow. It's unfolding right here, right now.